Hi, this is Luke from NGN, and today we're going to talk about Dota 2, specifically the heroes available in Dota 2. We're going to talk through our new player guide and helping you figure out which hero is right for you. Say you've just seen the Dota 2 anime, or you've just seen the new hero and you're a returning player, or you're a new player altogether, the sheer quantity of heroes that are available in the game can be a bit intimidating. You want to find out what one might be right for you, what you're going to enjoy the most out of a hero playstyle wise, and you want some recommendations? Well, stick with us and you'll get them. Alright, let's get started with these recommendations. They're going to be broken down into four archetypes so that you can decide which hero will suit you best based on what you enjoy playing in other similar games. These don't have to be MOBAs, they could be RPGs for instance. They're going to include, first, DPS. Do you like to be the type of person or control the character capable of dishing out damage? You want to be hurting? These ones are for you. Next, we're going to talk CC or crowd control. Do you like to be the type of player who's helping the team through applying debuffs and locking down the enemy heroes? Well, these are for you. Tank, do you like to take on the front line, aggro the mobs, protect your allies, that kind of thing? Well, we've got some tank suggestions. Finally, healer. If you like playing the supporting role or keeping your allies alive, we've got some suggestions based on that style of gameplay also. So, use this guide in helping you select your hero for the introduction of Dota 2. Uh, then you'll get the most out of your playtime in both um, success of that hero and enjoyment found in playing the role that you like well. Alright, first is DPS damage. These guys put on the hurt and get kills. Our first suggestion to check out is Weaver. Weaver is great for new players because the bulk of his damage and kill potential can easily be obtained with armor reduction plus your passive ability Germinate. Having fewer actives to worry about means that you can focus on playing Weaver in a positioning sense and the timing of your engagements. Having damage come from the passives means you're not constantly watching your abilities, waiting for them to be able to be used. They're a passive, so you don't have to wait. You can just play the game and that'll happen automatically. And that's a great introduction to playing a damage hero in Dota 2. Work towards items uh, for damage, I'm thinking Desolator and Daedalus. Um, if you want more survivability, look at building into Lincoln Sphere and BKB. That covers it for Weaver. Next is PA or Phantom Assassin. Phantom Assassin is another hero that relies on passives and armor reduction to secure kills. Her damage is based on, well, her ultimate. It secures critical hits. It might feel a little random, but that's both a good and bad thing. It's bad because it's hard to predict when they're going to come, but it's good for the same reason. Your enemy can't predict that either. It can surprise them. Say they're looking like they're going to win a team fight or a man fight against you, and then you get a couple of these critical hits tickle in. Suddenly, you've won a fight that you had no business winning. It's fantastic, and it's really satisfying to pull off. Alrighty, moving on to our third damage hero suggestion. We're going to go with Ursa the Big Bad Bear. Ursa is a hard carry, and I don't mean hard in the sense that he's difficult to play, he's pretty straightforward. He needs a couple of items, uh, mainly Battle Fury and BKB. Battle Fury is taking his right click into a farming route with area of effect damage, and it also spreads to heroes. So your right clicks are damaging everything in an area, a little zone, a cone if you will. And BKB prevents you from getting constantly stun locked while you're trying to slash away at enemies quickly. Alright? So you're gonna be pouncing on them, you're gonna be bursting them down with your man fighting ability. Ursa is a lot of fun, and he can turn the tide of fights and games in general. That's gonna wrap up our damage suggestion heroes. If you like playing damage, if you like getting a kill, check those three out. They're really good options, um, and they're relatively easy to play. They're going to be really good introduction heroes for a damaging role. If you like playing crowd control, my first thought is if you like playing sort of a warlock role in other games, then these CC or crowd control heroes are going to be for you. They're great at locking down opponents, they're really helpful in team fights, and your allies are going to thank you for playing them. The first one we're going to recommend is SS or Shadow Shaman, whatever floats your boat and his kit is designed around making you annoying. You're getting shackles to in as incapacitate a foe, I can't speak. Uh, yeah, so you're getting shackles to incapacitate a foe so that your teammates, while those foes are stunned, you know, they're immobile, they're locked down, 
anything like that, your allies can come in and finish them off. It's fantastic. So that they can't do anything to react, especially if they're alone, they don't have allies with them. They can't react to what you and your allies are doing. You're gonna help your team get the kill, all right? His skill set is pretty straightforward for crowd control lovers. He's popular and he's great in the meta right now. Give Shadow Shaman a go. Next is Silencer. Silencer, as the name suggests, silences foes. If they're silenced, that means they can't use their abilities and you can. That means you're gonna win fights. He can build um, heavily into silencing repeatedly and crowd controlling really well, or he can build into damage. I wouldn't recommend playing damage if you tell your team you're going to play a supporting role, but if you need that flex as things are unfolding, then yeah, Silencer is capable of a damage build from a support role. He's great, he's flexible, and his ultimate affects everyone on the enemy team, no matter where they are. So, great crowd control. The last one is a bit more difficult than the first two, but it's Bane. Bane has one of, if not the only, maybe, I'm sure, skill that is a hard crowd control that pierces spell immunity. Spell immunity, as the name suggests, makes you immune to spells. Guess what? Bane's ultimate doesn't care about that. He'll lock down a foe, incapacitate them like a shackle, and regardless of what they're trying to do about it, it just goes through. So there's zero escape from Bane's ultimate CC ability. If that sounds like something you'd enjoy, grab Bane. All right, moving on to tank heroes. If you like tanking in other games, if you like to be the frontliner in other games, these heroes might be right for you. First is DK, the star of the Dota 2 anime. He's the star of the anime and he's making an appearance on this list because he is a really good hero. A, in general, like if you're an experienced Dota player, you're gonna know DK is really good. And for new players, his kit is not intimidating. He gets a passive bulk, a stun, a damage reduction, and one of the coolest looking ultimates in the game. Check DK out. Abaddon, Abaddon, however you wanna say it, he's, an, Matt, he's a really, really good tank. He's our second hero that we're gonna recommend. And everything in his kit is designed around you staying alive. You've got the heal, you've got shields, and your ultimate is passive that can be activated. So if you get low enough health, it'll kick in itself, and it means that all the damage you take now is healing. And if you get low enough, it'll cast by itself. Great for new players. Moving on, the third tank is Timbersaw. Timbersaw's passive means that every time that you take damage, you get more bulky. That's as good as it sounds for new and experienced players. So if you're new, your positioning's not gonna be great. You're gonna be taking hits. Well, guess what? Timbersaw doesn't mind. In fact, he likes it. Great for tanking. The next set of heroes is for those of you who like healing, who like supporting, who like to be in the back line, making sure that everyone's topped up and alive. First hero for that, Enchantress. Enchantress, her sprites do a lot of healing and then you can get the shard upgrade that means you have constant sprites around you it's not as potent as casting the ability but it's constant combine that with items like holy locket mechanism and the sheer level of healing that you can put out they're very high numbers healer two is winter wyvern winter wyvern she can save your bacon her healing ability can be amplified through talents it'll freeze your ally in place helping prevent further damage with its damage reduction benefit and it heals them for the duration of the freeze. If you invest in freeze talents as you level up and grab some healing items along the way, with Wyvern, you're gonna look cool because you're a dragon, well, you're a Wyvern, but you're gonna look cool and feel cool too. Third healer is Dazzle. Dazzle is in a great place for any new player right now, and he's easy to play. I say he's in a great place because he just got buffed recently in a good spot meta-wise. His ultimate is effective and it's a passive. It's one of those abilities that you don't have to cast and that's working for you all the time. And to boot, his healing ability also damages. So you can spread the plague to your foes and spread the love to your allies. You don't wanna mess with the wood, all right? All right, cool. In closing, that just about wraps things up for our introduction for any new player or returning player. If you like those archetypes and other games and you're looking for heroes that'll suit your playstyle, check these ones out for now. Check out the other Dota 2 content on our website, our blog, and our YouTube, and we look forward to seeing you in Dota 2.